In this part of the audit, the auditor is discussing the way the organization monitor the implementation of the production schedule on the shop floor. Watch this video to determine if the auditor is using effective auditing techniques. Okay, AJ, uh, if you can just take me through how you're planning production. Um, so where we are here now is where we hold our daily production meetings. Okay. So this board over here gives us details about the, any open works orders that we need to complete. We, we plan a production date and then we start production activities and all the information are recorded on these boards here. And any issues the operators encounter is, and the engineers encounter is all recorded in here so we can review it on a daily basis. Okay. Okay. And that brings us over to this board over here. All that this is, is just a detail of each works order and where we are and what the status is. Okay. So we've got a summary here for the management review and we've got the detail over here. Okay, and if we have any quality issues, where are they recorded? So quality issues go on to this board for our general for our communication. So operators have awareness and also um, the, the engineers can also detail what they're talking about. So what we have here is customer issues, internal issues, and if you need any concessions, they're also recorded on there. Okay, and do you have any concessions at the moment? Currently, we've got no concessions um, we're working on. So if we do have any, they'll go on the board for everyone's information. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for the explanation. No okay. okay. So let's summarise. ITF 16949 requirement 8.5.1.7 production scheduling states that the organization shall ensure that the production is scheduled in order to meet customer orders demand, such as just in time, and is supported by an information system that permits access to production information at key stages of the process and is order driven. The organization shall include relevant planning information during production scheduling, e.g. customer orders, supplier on-time delivery performance, capacity, shared loading, which could include multi-part station, lead time, infantry level, preventive maintenance, and calibration. This requirement can be audited by either starting the audit on the shop floor and look at how they implement the production schedule and then follow audit trails back to the production planning process to see how customer requirements are captured and incorporated into the schedule or vice versa. In this audit, the audit started with a review on the shop floor planning which was done with a whiteboard where progress of production orders was tracked. The auditee explained the progress is checked at daily production meetings and the board is updated appropriately. In a small company, like in this case, with low production volumes and working one shift, this can be an effective way of monitoring progress of order completion. Whereas in a larger company, often IT systems are required. The auditor also followed audit trails on the action taken when issues were found, particularly quality related issues. With the auditor explaining that the issues were again logged, and tracked using the whiteboard. In doing this audit, the auditor should verify the overall effectiveness of the planning process by reviewing delivery schedule achievement against customer requirements. In an earlier part of this video series, the organization shared their KPI that actually showed 100% achievement against the production schedule for the previous four months, which really gives evidence that the process is working. So let's summarize the key learning points. As a part of audit of manufacturing, 
auditors should verify the effectiveness of the production planning process to ensure that the process output meets customer requirements. A key measure of effectiveness of the production planning process would be to review the delivery schedule achievement. Meeting the IETF requirement 8.5.1.7 related to production scheduling can be by electronic or by using manual systems. But whichever system is used, the system may, must be able to demonstrate it meets the requirement which states, permits access to production information at key stages of the process and is order driven. <laughs> 